Real life, real stories, life lessons with Esther Joseph. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I had a dream, but before we get into the dream, let us quickly pray. Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for a new day. We thank you, Lord God, for all that you've done for us, Lord Jesus, in this new day. We cover this live in the precious blood of Jesus and everybody under the sounds of my voice in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, come and have your way. Speak through me. Give me wisdom to deliver this dream the best way that I can. Thank you, Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope has been well. Um, it's been a minute. Um, what was I going to say? Okay, so I had a dream. I had a dream and um, I was thinking, why am I dreaming about this um, uh, man of God, you know? So basically, I had a dream about um, Jamal Bryan. Jamal Bryan, he's a minister in the USA, Atlanta. Um, new birth? New birth, yeah. So um, in the dream, let's go there. In the dream... He got up from his room and he was in his boxes. He went to the fridge. Like it was one of these fridges where, you know, you got the up, you open it up and then you obviously, it's not the whole fridge like that. He opened it up a bit. Okay, so he opened the fridge, got, um, no, before he got what he took out of the fridge, he, he looked at me and my children and just ignored us. So like, before he opened the fridge, he looked at me and my children, like we, he looked at us, ignored us, went to the fridge, opened the fridge, um, got milk out and something else, shut the fridge and walked back into the bedroom. So that was the dream. Let me repeat it again in case I went too fast. Pastor Jamal Bryan got out of his bedroom, went to the fridge, then before he opened the fridge, he looked at me and my kids, ignore us, opened the fridge, got out milk and something else was in his hands as well, shut the fridge, went back into his room and that was it. So when I went into prayer and I asked the Lord, and by the way, I had this dream a month today. I had this dream the 6th of October. Today's the 6th of November. So um, when I prayed and I asked God, like, why are you showing me this? What what is what's it got to do with me? What what is it? What is, what what is it about? So when I went into my prayer, and um, the Lord was saying that me and my children, because I'm single, we represent the um um the women that have his children. So he he ignores the women that are, have had his children. And I'm not talking about the the children, the three girls that he's got with um, Giselle Bryan. I'm not talking about those those three girls. God's, I was representing, because I'm a single mom, I was representing the women that he's had children with. And he's, he has ignored those women and those children. And then, um, yeah, the total of getting up in the morning, getting on with your daily bread, and you don't acknowledge those children. And, you know... He just gets back, he goes with his normal day. So that's the interpretation that the Lord gave me. Because I was like, what has my children got to do with it? And then the Lord was like, you're a single mom. You're you and your children, actually. Because I was like, like, me, like, what have I got to do with it? And the Lord was like, no, you and your children represent the ladies that he's had children with. And he doesn't um, pay them no mind. Because he didn't, he opened that fridge, he looked at us and he just closed the fridge and went back in his room, like got what he wanted at the fridge and went back in his room. Like he didn't acknowledge us whatsoever in that dream. So um, that's the dream that I had. And um, obviously the Lord is concerned about those um, children that he's had through these women. So um, if this gets to him or somebody that knows him, I pray that he makes it right with the, those other children and their mothers um god is not a god of god is a god of love yeah god very much loves him but he needs to sort out that in, um, situation with his other children and their mothers so um that's the dream that i had and um as i said i always pray about my dreams i don't just get them and start coming up on here i always pray about them if you need to take this dream to god please kindly do take it to god one thing that i will say 
um god loves everybody there's grace there's room to repent there's room to um you know always go to the lord and say father i've missed it can let's get it right repent and change our ways so i really want to, um the viewers to understand that god is a god of love god loves um jamal bryan but obviously god will not fall at any of us even myself in any sin so that's why he um he um speaks to he shows dreams revelations he speaks to his prophets so we can put the word out so that that person can repent can turn away from their wicked ways and make it right with god and or even make it right with the individual that god wants them to make it right with so i pray that if this video gets to jamal bryan um pastor jamal bryan or anyone that knows him forward it to him and i pray that he gets his situation sorted out and i said um god is love and um let me leave it with john three sixteen. that's what i can say so that was the dream guys i always have to leave it in love god is love and he will speak through anyone that gives him his time really but you have to be clean like no sin you're giving yourself to him he comes first you're praying you're seeking him so god can use anyone seriously god can use anyone but you have to have that relationship with your lord our savior jesus christ of nazareth thank you guys god bless you be blessed share like subscribe i'm praying for you jamal bryan i'm praying for you praying for your family praying for your situation um jesus loves you remember that and um, the bible does tell us there's no condemn condemnation in jesus christ all right love you guys god bless you take care stay safe edessa Thank you and God bless you for watching. Like and subscribe.